Oh my goodness, it does! That, that's an incredible sight. Uh, but maybe it's got enough speed. I should hit the NOS on this. On, we'll do it again. So today we're gonna be doing car limbo here in Beam and G Drive. Now you're probably asking, well, what does that mean? Well, it's exactly as it sounds. So you have the pole that goes across, uh, but we do have a gradual decline. Uh, so eventually it's gonna go down to, well, you can be the judge here. Uh, not that much space. And my goal here today is to fit a full size car under this. Now you're probably gonna ask, well, Komodo, how's that possible? And I don't even know this, but uh, yeah, it was something that was cool that Spieler uh, came up with. Well, actually, I think we saw it on some other uh, Beam and G channels where they did like a kind of like a limbo thing, but it was morally just one pole they'd move down, and we wanted this gradual decline. And oh my goodness! Okay, well, I, I pretty much knew the D series wasn't gonna make it through, but I've got ideas. Now you're probably saying to yourself, well, Komodo, the easy way to do this is. Yes, an RC car, but I would consider this cheating. Like, I want a full-size car to fit under there. Now, we don't have a limbo bar that pops off uh, like normal limbo, so I think just the challenge would be uh, getting it under. Wait, will this even fit under here? Uh-oh. Uh, uh I about to say, if this doesn't fit under, we have an issue. And, oh, we cleared it, nailed it. We could probably just end the video now. But that's not the way we're going to do this. So we have the Shintilla here, which I think this is going to do fairly well. I think it's going to be all about forcing the car under uh, the final couple little obstacles. How close does this one come? And, oh, look how good that is. It clears a boom and... Uh-oh. Okay, so I got caught on the rear end. What in the heck? It just bent it. Well, we almost made it to the end. There's just no way this thing could clear. Hmm, if I were to get a, we're going to start with lore friendly cars. If I were to get another lore friendly car, I think actually the bolide is a good like shape to start with because hear me out, uh, you got the nice little scoop. I kind of wish the bumper fell off a little more, uh, but man, if we could lower it a bit, I wonder if I could put tiny wheels on it. Would that actually help? I don't know. Let's do a run with just the bolide here. Does it do better than the Shintilla? Obviously tall vehicles just aren't going to work. It'd be entertaining just to watch them crash, but here we go, and clear, uh, clear, oh, whoa, okay, so we have figured out the perfect, well, I, I want to say somewhat perfect optimal shape to get through, hmm, you know, there's a chance this challenge is going to end very, very quickly, so what if we were to, wait, a jet turbine ramp car, um, I know it's not like exactly in the base game, but this is a mod, it is still using the bolide. Uh, it's got speed. It's also got a really slow front end. I don't know how much the ramp gives though On here we go. Come on, baby clear them clear them. Oh <laughs> Okay, what just happened that ramp has no give to it. Okay, so ramp car Not advisable, but I like the idea of a turbine which by the way we checked out a uh, it was a pigeon turbine a vehicle the other day it was probably one of my favorite videos I've done in a while um, Can I take the ramp off of this? Flip ramp. Let's just make that. Okay, that was a very, very crucial part of the chassis. There might be a way I can mount the Jado to the back. Oh, would you look at this? There was actually a jet turbine like a normal one. Hold on. So is the turbine itself really rigid? It might actually not work. Hold on, let's see how much speed we can get. And boom. And oh my goodness. So... Yeah, the turbine is a fairly solid object here, so I don't think that that's going to force it through. Uh, I got another plan here. Let's just use one of the fast bolides, and then we might have to get really creative with this. All right, we're ready to go. I'm a little concerned about the rear end. I I'm pretty sure, like, the spoiler that's back there is going to fold really easy, so here we go. Oh, uh, this is just such... It's a neat concept, and it's just such a simple one, and it's so satisfying to watch. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, all my, uh, scientific evidence of the bolide making it under is definitely not going to come true here. Uh, it's weird because, like, the best attempt was, like, the first one with the bolide. Okay, we'll come back to this one. Uh, I'm a little concerned because that was definitely one of my, like, lowest cars, but we do have the wonderful, uh, F4 mod by LucasVE. And look how short this thing is. Dude. 
I mean, the halo is there for safety measures, and it shouldn't give much. That's my uh, my main concern. Also, I think it's a carbon fiber body. And oh, yes, no. Oh, it actually hit on the. Uh, wait, is that the hoop? I think that's the little uh, box or the scoop at the top. Oh yeah, that didn't give it all. Um, all right, well, F four car versus the uh, the limbo. This this is not a thing. All right, we're gonna set it back. All right, so we're gonna try an SBR four. It's electric motor, so it's got plenty of power. It's definitely a little taller vehicle, but I'm hoping that it just gives out and we could shear the roof off and just try to shoot under them. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely a, a really neat map. Uh, that Speedler's done here. And like I said, it's not like an original idea. Uh, I think the, the gradual like decline is what makes it unique. And oh my goodness! How did that make it through? I wonder if the electric motors help push it through. Like you don't you don't kill the motor immediately since everything's kind of like on the bottom. Look how flat the vehicle is. All right, so we have a winner. So I want to continue this uh, with other vehicles to see if we can make it through. But heck, we won the video, and I'm, I'm looking over at my recording software. I'm like only 12 minutes into recording. That's probably the quickest I've ever completed a challenge. So we've proven that you can make vehicles go under there, but can you force them with Jados to go under? I know this is a vehicle that's like most likely definitely not going to make it, but I mean a school bus versus... Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not really sure why I even attempted that. I mean, it looked cool. Okay, so I'm still on the concept of forcing the vehicle through. So we have the Jet Pigeon or the Jet Gen. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, this was a cool mod we checked out the other day. Uh, very solid and sturdy. Well, I would say fairly sturdy vehicle. Like, it's maneuverable. You would think with a big uh, jet turbine it wouldn't work well. But, oh, oh, oh. <gasps> yes! Wait, does that count? It kind of hung up and went back. It was like there was a bungee on that. What do you guys think? Is, is that fair? Can we say the Jet Pigeon made it? Let's do one more run with it. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, I think you just have to have the need for speed to get under these. All right, here we go. Oh, it's just so close. And boom, boom, and oh! It didn't make it at all that time. I mean, like a wheel pop through. I think it comes down to luck with this one. Uh, I would say this one gets a pass, though. I, I do believe that... Uh, this is pretty close to making it. Oh, except for that. That just... Yeah, we skipped one. But I think ultimately I'm not going to stick it in the, the wind pile because it didn't clean... Um, well, when I say cleanly, it didn't make it through all the way. Like, it definitely got hung up on something. And I think majority of the body was still under the, uh, the bar. So let's move to the next vehicle. Okay, I got one. Do you think a stock car can make it under this? I mean, we got tons of power here. I just... I don't know if it's going to be able to clear it. All right, here we go. Oh, buddy. Uh, we're going pretty fast. I mean, it's not the tallest vehicle. Oh, my goodness. Um, Definitely does not clear the limbo. Uh, you know, I think what it is, it's got to be the roll cages. So I think anything that's got, like, a cage on it, it's extra, like, rigid and sturdy. So it doesn't give, and you end up with the, uh, we're going to call this the banana effect. Uh, and the cars, they just can't go under it. All right, so I'm thinking that electric motors are perfect for this challenge. So we're in the E Pessima. I'm kind of curious. Will this thing make it under? Uh, no roll cage. Should be able to force its way. Not quite as fast as the other one, but oh dear. No! Wow, oh, I am disappointed. Man, maybe the other vehicle was just like the perfect shape to get under this. So I just now figured out if you really wanted to cheat. Does Agent Y's ETK 800 resizable count? I don't think it does. Uh, I mean, it would look kind of funny going under. Hold on, let's get the pancake out. Is this shorter than the RC? Oh my goodness. This is definitely shorter than the RC car. This is like that effect you see in the old cartoons where something gets flattened. Yeah, that that's cheating, right? That is, that's for sure cheating. That's no. We can't do it. It's just a funny mod to pull out. But in all seriousness, we need to figure out other vehicles that can make it. So you're probably looking at the next vehicle and going, Komodo, that's not even going to have a chance to make it under. And you would be right, but I just want to see this happen. I actually might take it over. By the way, this is a, a map that's going to be on Spencer's Patreon. Uh, there are other lanes. Now, the other lanes are just the single uh, little uh, bars instead of the gradual decline. Like, the gradual decline, that was the challenge I wanted to see. 
but I'm kind of curious. If we sent one of these buses fast enough, could you think we could almost break it in half? Or, I guess, split it? All right, so here we go. I went with the electric bus uh, because electric motors are efficient. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it was instant death. Uh, maybe the bendy bus wasn't a good idea. Okay, hold on. I got another one. Let's just take it over here and run it. All right, here we go. Um, speed. Come on. The electric motors are normally a little bit fast. I mean, to be fair, it's a bus. Uh, did we get the one that looks like it's going to split it in half? No, I think it's just going to take off the top section. We're just going to cut a little off the top. You know, I, I'm almost curious, and I wonder if I can get Spieler to make a different version of this. Do you guys think if it was like a sharp, like really narrow blade that we could actually maybe cut the cars? I know there's limitations to how these cars deform, but if you're going fast enough, I almost feel like the big blade uh, versus the car might be a thing. Okay, so I don't think we're gonna go fast enough to do the bus like this. Now, I do have a Jado version of this. Let's go and pull it out. Okay, capsule bus uh, with the Jados on it. Hopefully, this is gonna be max speed here. Oh, the ram plow, I'm just gonna leave it on there because I don't think it really matters. We're gonna clear under that. Oh, yes, that is the speed. Hold on. Uh, oh! Did we just do a complete loop around that? I'm actually confused as to what just happened there. Hold on, we gotta run that again. Okay, we've got to watch this go through. This is gonna be glorious. Did it actually spin around? Oh my goodness, it does! That, that's an incredible sight. That was beautiful. Hold on, oh, I can't, wait, are the Jados still attached? No, I definitely think the Jados have left uh, this world. Um, Yeah, that was, uh, that was definitely, it's definitely something. The bus is basically unrecognizable. All right, so we're back to the program here. So we have the beast. This is the Grand Marshal. I feel like the shape is pretty decent. Uh, I am, of course, a little afraid of the uh, the electric, or not the electric, the gas engine here. Uh, but maybe it's got enough speed. I should hit the NOS on this. Uh, we'll do it again. What? You know, that almost would have cleared under. Uh, half the, I don't. I don't think I've ever seen something like that. You know, if one thing you guys are getting some awesome, like, crashes. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, let's run this with NOS. Maybe that will help. Uh, I don't know if it's going to or not. Uh, I really, really do want to run this one in slow-mo. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. Uh, all right, so it goes under that one. Oh, this is going to be so satisfying. And, oh, man, it just, it cleans it. Rips that body right off, and then look, we get under this one. Uh, you know, if the engine would have ejected itself, I think it might be close to being flat enough to make it under the last one, and boom. Well, that might have been not quite as satisfying as the bus, but that was like my number two there. What was your favorite crash so far? Man, I'm actually struggling here to find another car that is going to be able to beat the SBR4 here. Uh, it was, it just worked so well. Now, I do believe the Windover is pretty small like it's a fairly short car uh maybe this thing could actually get through uh let's go ahead and grab this one i mean i wouldn't say it's that much shorter than the uh the old grand marshal but i don't know maybe just the shape maybe the front end uh it's got a really tall like uh i think they call it like the greenhouse area uh oh come on i'm hoping it folds okay under that one <gasps> no that was looking good. That was oh, that was looking pretty legit there. Yeah, I think it's I think it's too high off the ground. Uh, still like one of my favorite cars. I don't use it enough, but it was such a cool car when it came out. And then how can you not love that dash? Like that is a classic right there. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the Bolide one more time because it was so impressive. I think it was the 350. If we just had maybe just a tiny bit more speed, don't change the body because I, I think the spoilers and stuff on the back uh, aren't really good for it. Now, we have a top speed one. This one is like minimal drag. There's no spoilers, wings, or anything. Do we think we can get one more under? This is going to be the one, right? Like, this thing sets low. All right. Uh, you also have the really low windshield. Come on, baby. Make it under. Yes, and... Oh, come on. It's so close. It is so close. We've only had one get all the way through. All right. One more attempt here. Okay. Come on. 
Try to get it to hook up. I wonder if we had just a tad more speed. I mean, we could hook a NOS bottle up to it. And what, what the heck? What just shot out? Was that the frunk? Oh. You know, normally when you see these things split in the game and they get splits right around the engine, that was the front end of the car. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, I got one more attempt on this. Uh, let's, I'm going to do some modifying. If I can get a squeeze a little more speed out of it, I feel like this one might make it through. Okay. Got a little more speed. Got nitrous in it. Come on, baby. All right. Let's see if it hooks. Uh, seems a, almost like a little slower. No, I think we're good. Okay. I think we got this. All right. Oh. So why did it do that? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I think we figured out that the SBR is the ultimate car for the limbo challenge. 